lights, cameras rolling, easy, action. 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 Miss Lucky Star, how are you? I'm tired, but well in spirit. Thank you. Another avian has arrived. I know. Oh my God. Give me a second. Okay, yes. Uh-huh. You have a very unique accent. Where are you from? Chicago. I mean your ethnicity. Oh, <laughs> I'm Filipino by uh, like um, ancestry, but uh, my parents were born there, but I was born in the U.S. And how did you find um, this exciting industry? <laughs> Well, I moved to LA to be an actress. <laughs> you see how that goes. And um, just one day, I was got down on my luck, and then uh, you know, I started to do porn. But I, it wasn't like I, I was like forced into it or anything. I did it by choice because I was a huge fan of the industry before I even started. I just never thought I'd have the guts to actually go through with it. But now it's kind of surreal. All these people that I used to idolize and watch your movies when I was younger are now like my buddies, my friends. You know, work with all of them, hang out with all of them. On a personal level, it's it's really nice. And how many years has it been now? Since I you're knew you were going to ask me that because that was the next thing out of my mouth. This March will be uh, my 10-year anniversary. Congratulations! I know, right? I never in a million years thought I'd make that mark. And the thing is, with a lot of these girls, a lot of them like quit after two years, so nobody will know who they are until later <laughs> when they're long gone. So. Future Hall of Fame on the rise. Maybe it's possible. Yeah, but I, done, not not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. You've done a lot of good work over the years. So somebody's noticing. Yeah. So what is it you like sexually? Um, you know what? It's just um. It's almost like a ballroom dance. It's like if I have a partner that can get me going in a certain way that, that I can reciprocate, it's great. Um, like they take the lead and I'll follow. Like if, if they're um, just something attractive about them, if they're if they're very sexual, if they're very passionate, that's usually a big turn on for me. Um, I'm by no means a nymphomaniac. Like I'm not, like when the switch is on, it's on. When the switch is off, it's off. Like I don't think about sex, I don't want to talk about it, nothing. So I kind of save it for when it really matters. So sometimes that switch does shut off. Yes, it's just like when people call me lucky, I'm like, who, who, who? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do that, that thing. I do that, yeah. So. Where can we find your social media? Oh my God, where can't you? Uh, Instagram and Twitter is at Club Lucky Star, two R's. Uh, Snapchat is Lucky Star Triple X. Do I have any more? I think that's it. Yeah, I think it's it. It might have more, I don't know. <laughs> in the 10 years you've been in this business, how do you keep up with the changing times? It's, it's not easy because uh, especially, it's always about the new girl. So it's, it's always kind of like, it's always trying to stay in there, always trying to stay active, always trying to, if you if you don't have one door closes, go to another door. If that door closes, go to another door. And it's constantly trying to um, just keep everything burning, all the candles burning at all ends because it's not just shooting scenes, it's keeping up with your fan sites and your websites and your uh, social media and I just feel like it's a non-stop struggle to try to stay active especially when the odds were against me I went into the industry at a late age and the fact that I'm still here is nothing short of a small miracle well you have fans that love you and it's never too late to follow your dreams that's it really Tyler Perry. Isn't. it really is no I may it's still going on mainstream who the fuck knows it's very very possible but yeah I see people that could do both sides of the fence um Sir James PR entertainment extraordinaire both sides um Ron Jeremy done it. He does, but the one thing, uh, when a lot of those people go into mainstream, they're always going to be labeled as a porn star. I don't want to be labeled. I want people to hire me because they like what I bring to the table and they like what I could do as opposed to who I am. I understand. So you want to offer more as an adult star? I don't want to offer more as an actress across the board. Like, what I like about porn is I like to feel and to make somebody else feel. Like, whether it be horny, sad, happy, whatever. Um, just for the mainstream part, I'm just not having sex. Or maybe I am. Who knows? I just want to be known more as an actress than as a performer, as opposed to just porn star. Lucky star, thank you very much and thank much you. continued success. Thank you.